Hi, I'm Timps and you are watching Game Dev Bits. So today we're going to jump in real quick and have a look at a nice, fast, easy way that you can add a 3D object into your UI. So whether that uh, something fancy you want to have stuck up in the corner or you're looking at building something like a, a character screens, you can have a look at yourself. Let's have a look just how easy that is to do using a render texture. We'll jump back into the scene originally created for our Lighting 101 video. Here's our game view and we want to add in a model. So let's just grab one at random. All right, that looks terrific. Oh, and before we go any further, just a quick shout out, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all of this possible. Here they are. All right, so I've made a folder here that we can stick everything in that we need. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to create ourselves a render texture. So if we just go create and then render texture and then give it a name. Now in here, you can also set the resolution depending on how much detail you want. For us, 256 by 256 is going to be just fine. Okay, now what we need to do is take our pirate ship and we want to put it onto a new layer. So let's create a new layer. Let's go down here to layer 18 and we're going to call it UI camera. Great. So once we create a layer, we just click back into the scene. Now we can go to our layer tab and there we can find it. Would you like to change the children as well? Yes, perfect, great. All right, now what we want to do is in our scene, we need to create a camera. So there's our new camera and we want to just line ourselves up and then what we do is press Control Shift F and that aligns a game object to your current position where you are in the scene. So for a camera, it'll look at exactly what you're looking at. If you do it with a game object, you'll end up with an object in 3D space, which could be just what you want. So now that we've got our camera, what we need to do is go in and change a couple of things. Uh, we want to change the culling mask. Our camera here, what we want to do is we, we want to switch from everything to nothing so our camera can't see anything at all. And then we just want to set it so we can see that UI camera. There we go. Great. And now where it says target texture, we just want to grab our render texture and we want to drop that in there. So now our second camera is rendering to this. All right. Now let's go in here again. We want to go UI and we want to create a raw image. There's our raw image sitting here in the center. So just select that. Go to our 2D view. Zoom back out. There we go. And we just want to grab our move tool here and we want to put ourselves, we want to put it up here in the corner. Perfect. Now, what we can do is drag our render texture into the texture for the raw image and our pirate ship is now being rendered in here. And if that pirate ship changes in any way, that will update on our render texture. Now to get rid of this box, nice and simple, all we need to do is go back into our camera and we want to change our clear flags to solid color. And we just want to pick a nice dark color, which will go here on the, on the fringe as it aliases. So if you pick something that stands out a lot, you can actually see that color start to, to show up on there. So we just pick ourselves a nice medium gray just to give that matte edge. And there we go. That's really all there is to it to get a 3D object happening in your UI. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.